morning, people. Good morning, y'all. So, um, today is Tuesday. Tuesday. You, I'll buy you a calendar. Just, For what? I don't, don't use a calendar. You don't need to be digital. I got a digital on camera on, I mean, calendar <laughs> on my phone. Let me fix my thingy, bye bye. Yeah, I want There we go. Now we cooking with bacon. Um, no, we're not. We're not cooking with bacon because what? We don't do pork. We don't. Ah, right, and yeah. we're back. Yeah. So. There's a Starbucks. Okay, we're not going to Starbucks. We're going to the fatted calf for breakfast. Frida just had a doctor's appointment. Uh, okay, so let me tell y'all. I was going to record the doctor's appointment. But I saw it in her eyes. She really didn't want to, so I ain't pushed the issue. It wasn't that I didn't want to. I was kind of nervous, and I was nervous because it's just like, you know, I was scared that we were going to get some bad news, and I don't know. I just felt like, mm, I was just nervous. I was nervous, and I was like, ugh, I don't. I don't want to record no bad news. I, I noticed so. that this morning. She was she was kind of she was showing about the whole appointment. Like, uh, are you ready? Uh, you got the address? Well, man, maybe I wrote it down somewhere. Yeah, because well, I was just gonna kind of like because if I don't say nothing, she gonna not go. Yeah, okay. that's what was gonna happen this morning. I saw it. I was waiting. I wasn't pushing the issue. But I like, no, nope, I'm gonna just find the address because she has no intentions of going to this damn doctor's appointment. It's just it's crazy. So okay. So for everybody that don't know or that don't follow us on Facebook, but you should our lives, cause you should. Real Rita Land. Um Me and Read TV. No shameless plugs. No shameless plugs. So the last month or so I stopped doing my lives because um I started having like a She tried to die on me. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. according to him. Um I was having like a lot of problems. I need some life issues. Um yeah, but we talked about this. You were supposed to up the policy months ago. I can't sign your policy. We got we got time for that. Reclaiming my time. Reclaiming, Reclaiming my time. <laughs> uh, anyway, so y'all, um, we uh, I had been having some issues. I went to work one day, so I'm insurance adjuster for everybody that doesn't know. Um, I went to work one day and I was having like this really, really bad headache and the headache turned into a migraine and the migraine turned into me like my chest started hurting, the back of my neck started hurting, you know, the top of my shoulders, my arms started to feel a little tingly. Um, I started getting shortness of breath and then I started seeing like spots in front of my face and I just felt like I was going to pass out. Anyway, one of my coworkers took me to CVS. They did me on this little blood pressure thing and my blood pressure was high. I took some Advil, or uh, I lied, it wasn't Advil, it was baby aspirin. I took some baby aspirin just to kind of see if the headache would go away because that's all they had at work. And that didn't help at all. So Brandon ended up coming to my job. He had to pick me up and take me to the hospital. We got to the hospital and my heart rate was like in the 30s, which your heart rate is typically supposed to be between, what they say, 60 to 90? So my heart rate was in the 30s, which is really, really bad, like horribly bad. And then my blood pressure, blood pressure is supposed to be 120 over 80 or under, I guess. And at the time we went, mine was 179 over 110, so it was extremely high. Um, they ended up keeping me that night and they tried to give me something in my IV to like boost my heart rate because it kept going so low. And whatever they gave me, it worked for like an hour or two, but then my heart rate went down even lower when they um, when the medicine wore off. They sent me home, didn't give me any blood pressure medicine, so they sent me home, blood pressure was still sky high, and I was having like these, it was so bad to where I was like waking up in the middle of the night and I was crying because I was having these chest pains and I couldn't breathe and I was dizzy. So I wasn't getting any sleep for a couple of nights. Like I was literally, you know, balled up in a fetal position under Brandon. That's just how bad it was. And then maybe like a week later, like I went in on that Thursday and that next Thursday, I started having those same problems all over again. And we ended up going to the doctor and they admitted me. Is that right? Yeah. So the first time I was admitted for like, what, two or three days? 
and then the last time I was admitted for either three or four days, something like that. Well, they told me that I had blockage in my carotid artery. That's what the first doctor told me, and that I needed to like have surgery and get this blockage fixed because it was like 50 to 70 percent, yada yada yada. So Disclaimer, I'm thinking, stay stay off WebMD because you'll die. You'll freaking die on WebMD. Because I was on WebMD, like, oh my god, I had a heart attack. I really did feel like I had a heart attack and everything that we looked up, all of the symptoms, I had like seven out of 10 of the symptoms for having a heart attack. So, we ended up going to the second doctor and they admitted me um, because my blood pressure was extremely high still because I had went the whole week with no blood pressure medicine um, and my heart rate was still really, really low. So they ended up admitting me the second time I went to the hospital. We stayed four days. They said that they didn't see any blockage in my carotid artery, but that they were concerned because my heart rate was still really low and that I was still having like these really, really bad migraines. And so they put me on this cardiac diet, you know, no salt, low salt or no salt, then like, you know, cut out um, pork, just certain things they were telling me to do. Stop eating food with flavor. Pretty much. So they really that it was stop eating meat where the fat meat is good. That's what they want me to do. No want, greasy fat meat. I like the fat meat. The fat meat be the best part. So that's what made us decide to kind of kick the bucket with pork because as good as it is, it's just not good for you. And we already knew that, but you know, y'all know I love bacon. Like if you follow me on Facebook, y'all know I love bacon. I, it used to be so much more than I love Brandon. Like, bacon can get it, okay? We can, like, we can go home. We can pack. We can go live with the pig. I don't have no problem. I done gave up the pig now, so you saying that don't do nothing. But make you look dumb, okay? <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. Um, long story short. Went to the hospital, they gave me blood pressure medicine, they gave me some, some migraine medicine for my head because my head has still been killing me for like ever. Um, and now they have me following up with a cardiologist and I have to go see a neurologist because you know, I got some stuff going on in my head. So, you know what? I said it's a cute kid. Don't get slapped. I said she's a cute little girl. Don't get slapped, that's why his beard is so much fuller than yours because he's a grown man. You childish. That's why your beard not growing, because you childish. But your heart don't work right, so what that make you? That make me a heartbreak. That make me a heartbreak hotel. I got this ice box with my heart. That's an EKG machine. So they got me on an EKG machine, you guys. You I'll show, show you. No, you not. I am, because it's my body and my camera. Excuse us. Stop. <laughs> So they have me on this this monitor, okay? All right, that's enough. And I have to write this monitor so they can kind of track what's going on with my you heart. You're getting screenshots of that in your inbox. It's it's like the lady said. Once you've seen one pair, you've seen them all. Unless oh, somebody's okay. like a triple, unless is. somebody's like a triple H, then whatever. Because that ain't one pair. That's like a whole ass. Anyway, oh wait. I opened the door. <laughs> My bad! Anyway, we are at the... What does that say? The fatted, fatted calf. calf. The fatted calf. Hey, I don't have on an army hat today. Y'all should be proud of me, okay? No army hat. We're at the like fatted calf. Penis, so to see We're about to have some breakfast, you guys.
So we just got our food and it looks delightful. We definitely not getting dessert because we know better at this point from our <laughs> recent expeditions. I have steak and eggs with cheese grits and asparagus. wheat toast and asparagus. Rita has chicken, chicken and waffles. waffles. With a side of eggs with poblano gravy. Both of our meals, <clears throat> both of our meals came with bacon, but as you see, there's no bacon. We don't mm. eat that anymore. We don't eat that anymore. Fix your face. Oh, we don't eat that anymore. We're about to eat because we're hungry. Yes. Bon appetit. Oh, so breakfast is over. It was really good. We returned to the fatty calf. About to head home. Man. It's a little breezy out here. Oh. About to head home and do some something. I know I got some videos to edit. I think Rita's going live. Well, what he thinks is that we're about to go home. Really what we're about to do is we're about to go to Walmart and we're gonna pick up Madison some socks and then we're gonna head to the mall and go to Children's Place. What are we doing? We need to get Madison some socks and, um, oh, we need to get more school pants for her too. It's getting a little breezy. So we're about to get socks and we're about to get school pants. Now? You got something better to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, don't you like, you what, do. What's that fancy? Are we getting pants without her? She's a six. Yes. Is she still a six? We'll find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, hey. <laughs> I don't know. I just know I cleaned out her um, drawers this morning when I was up there. And a lot of her pants that were in the drawers. I could just tell by looking at them that they too small, so it's no wonder that the stuff she's been putting on is like looking very shrinkage on her. Shrinkage? Yeah, what's wrong with that? So, she needs some more pants. And her shirts just look, her shirts even look very toddler-ish. So. And the children's place over here, Rock Hall. I think so. We ain't trying to go tomorrow. I'm trying to go home. Oh. Well. We're going to find children's place. And then we're going. What? What? What's that? Hey. Oh, yeah. Rita, you know what? I got to edit this video, right? <laughs> okay. left children's place. We just left children's place. Buying Madison. Buying Madison. Some clothes. Some clothes. And Mikhail got a shirt. And Mikhail got a shirt. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you better watch the damn road. I know you better watch the damn road. So, we're on our way home. Breakfast was delicious and shopping was fun. If it's your first time joining us, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit the little bell so you get all of our notifications. So you don't miss an upload. Like us on Facebook and at ah! Rita Lynn and being Read TV. Yeah, that way y'all Instagram don't... too. And that way. That way what, Brandon? Twitter. That way what? Yeah, don't miss an upload. Or whatever. Or whatever. So, that's all for us today, folks. We're about to go home and get to editing so we can throw some more videos up for y'all. And then, um, that's it. What you got to say to the folks? Look, he texting and driving. I'm directioning and driving. You know what? Would you do that to your mama? Not to her face. So don't do it to me. Because I'm something like your mama. What? Well, can't be Oh, oh disrespect. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. You know what? Skirt! Take me to Starbucks right now. I'm not. Anyway, y'all. We're done. We'll see y'all in the next video. Choose life.